What is up, everyone? We are here. It is time to open a first edition Rise of Destiny booster box. This is our first time doing a box break in a very long time. But several of the members got a chance to get some of these packs, so hopefully we can pull a Creator Ultimate Rare, Perfectly Ultimate Machine King, something really cool like that. I would love to see it. So who all is in here already? We've got Habitually Nostalgic is in the house. We've got BLX is in the house. Colton's in here. We've got Caleb in here, Alex in here. Caleb just got my uh, MST ulti. Super Vegito's in here, Donda's in here. What's up, guys? Is it new? No, this is a 2004 set. So this set came out in 2004. It's a early, it's between GX and uh, DM sets. So basically, we're not really sure. I call it 5D. Some people, I don't really even call it that. It's like original, but it's also not. So I don't know, it's very weird. Frankie, what's up, guys? Knickknack, Thomas. Corey, Yami, you, your Yanni Yugi, Kyle Bloom, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Are you guys ready for this? This is going to be pretty fun. Daxter's in the house, Odin's in the house, how are you guys doing? While you guys are trickling in, I am going to announce the giveaway. The giveaway for this live is these three cards. We've got a Ryu Senshi First Edition, Scapegoat First Edition, Barrel Dragon from Master Collection. All you have to do is like the stream, be subscribed if you're from the future. Go ahead and leave a comment. If you're not from the future, you're here in the moment. You're going to have to wait till after the stream, but make sure you guys go check this out afterwards. Three card giveaway. I've been announcing those on the community tab, YouTube community tab. Go to my page, click community. It'll show all the winners there. We've been announcing them every single week. I'm really proud of myself for sticking with the schedule. So I'm going to try and keep doing that. All right. Colton, would you be interested in a sealed cyber die? Um, let, me, let me show you. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. We got ourselves a cyber dragon 10 already. This is, uh, this is one of my faves. This is an old school for me. All right. This could be pretty fun. Midnight Wolf Productions. Thanks for the sub. I've added a few little glitz and glam to the top. If you guys subscribe, it'll pop up on the top left. And then, of course, the alerts has always been there, but I just moved them a little bit. So uh, this should be pretty fun, guys. It should be pretty awesome. If we can pull those ultis, those big ultis, it could be really cool. This is supposedly a hobby box based on the code. Let me show you guys. So that means we should get ultras and supers as ultimate rares and our two ultimate rares that we get. So this is going to be pretty fun, pretty awesome. Once we hit 150 likes, we'll get started. Josh, what's up, dude? Yeah, uh, Josh. Thought the Lakers had your Mavs for a second there, dude. Newt, we were close, dude. We were close. He drew Every time he drew a card, he drew exactly what he needed. Also, extra pack. He cheated. So we technically won. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It was close, man. Yeah, it was close. I actually enjoyed the deck. Uh, the last couple weeks, I've enjoyed my decks, but sometimes they don't work out. Found my old collection. Found Ultra Rare for Season Stardust. Uh, the way to check your cards. So I get this question a lot, like, how much are my cards worth? I have a video. Just type in, how to value Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Rocks and 34. Go to that video. It'll show you how to figure it out, no matter what card it is. Let's get some water before we start. Ah, uh, Turkey Dog. I've been waiting for you, dude. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> My team is the Lakers, Frankie. <laughs> 76ers? I don't know. We'll see how James Harden turns out, man. He's good, but he's kind of a kind of a problem. Sora, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Okay, we are at 150 likes. Where's my knife? It's officially time. That was, that was almost really bad. It's officially time to get started. Open up this beautiful Rise of Destiny first edition 24 pack box. Here we go. Let's crack it open. There it is. There goes the seal. Let's see if we can pull some awesome stuff. I'm pretty hyped for it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. 24 packs of Rise of Destiny. I'm pretty hyped because after this, I'm going to watch The Batman. I don't know if anybody's seen it yet, but I'm pretty excited to watch. I think it, it comes out technically today, but, you know, people can always see it earlier or whatever, but... I'm pretty excited to go watch it. I don't know how good it's going to be, but hopefully pretty good. Okay, we shuffle up the packs. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Also, we got some pretty cool videos coming up, especially specifically openings. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy those. I, I perfectly split it 12 and 12. Look at that. What's up, Spyros? Let's go. Hopefully not resealed. That would be bad. They look pretty good to me. The box is on my website, but then I decided to do a box break and the members bought all of them. I have also posted a bunch of stuff on my website recently. So if you guys want to go check that out, I've posted some old school stuff on there. 
like yesterday, I think. So Ruxin34.com. All right, let's do this. Release Friday, so it came out like Wednesday. Exactly. It's always weird how they do that. People saying the movie's awesome. All right, I'll, I'll give you guys a, a, a cryptic tweet with no spoilers about what I think about it later tonight. So follow me on Twitter, Ruxin34. We're going to start off with Jerry A. He's going to be the first one open two packs. I think everyone has at least two packs, so it's going to be interesting. Ultra's our creator, Mystic Swordsman. It's only one Mystic Swordsman. It's like the level six, I think. Uh, Perfect Ultimate Machine King is one, and then there's one more, I think. So we've got two packs. We're starting off for Jerry A. Let's see if we can get him some awesome pulls. Uh, Dekoichi, you guys know, is in here. One of my faves. Any MTG stuff? No, I, I don't really do too much MTG. I don't really know anything about it, so I don't have anything for that, Frankie. Good actors? Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like he's going to be good, to be honest. I'm not really sure, though. Okay, we're going to we're gonna do this. Let's see what the pack trick on this thing is. Fruits of Kazaki Studies. Let's see if if Jerry can get something amazing. Harpy Lady 3. Harpy Lady 1. Remember when we did, like, triple Harpy Ladies, like, 1, 2, 3 in a row? Harpy's Hunting Ground. There's a little bit of junk on this card. If you guys see that, that's weird. Okay. Raging Flame Sprite. A Zing, Zen, Who. Very cool. I like that card. Mirage Dragon. Another kind of annoying card to play against. Ultimate Insect Level 3. So it is 4 from the back. And Moki Moki King. So we've got an Ultimate Insect Level 3. Starting it off with a rare. Hopefully we will pull... You know, something that's not a rare suit. Salmon L, thanks for becoming a special footage member. If you guys become that, you get discounts on the box price. You get early access. You also get Discord access, full access to the Discord. Everyone can join, but not everyone has full access. Then, of course, you get all the emotes and badges in the chat. I appreciate you doing that. Thanks for becoming a member. Jerry A, that's your first pack. Let's see if we can get you something in the second pack. Open a ghost from a past booster box and pull Dark Magician Ghost Rare. Did you, are you the one who texted me about it? Or Instagrammed or whatever. That's pretty awesome, dude. That's a great pull. Kong's Cards, thanks for the 449. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much for them. Hippos. I love it. Woodborg Impachi. Very good. Okay. Moki Moki King. This is looking pretty clear on my end. Hopefully this is looking good. Okay. Impachi. The Creator Incarnate. The Creator. Yeah. That's one. I, that's an Ultra as well. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Harpy Girl. Okay, this is the uncensored version, so I think it's worth a little bit more. Homunculus, the alchemic being. I can only think of Full Metal Alchemist from that. Mine Hack Sorks, and will we get a foil? Necklace of Command, the meme card. Okay, the meme card, unfortunately. Back-to-back -back rares to start. The box is already heating up. We have not pulled anything yet. <sighs> All right. Jerry, unfortunately, you got nothing but I'll hook you up with a foil for sure of some kind because you were in the break. Okay, next pack. Put that away like that. Next pack. Who has the next? It's Paolo. Paolo has three. Three packs, baby. How much is this? If it's a case, I don't think there... I don't know of anybody that has a case. I'm sure there are some out there, but for a box, they're on like 800, 900, something like that. Let's go, Xavier. Good to see you here. Okay, first pack. Paolo T. Oh, that's his uh, pack. Before we do this, got to put this pack wrapper into the bag make sure everything gets in there there we go let's go start off you got any old stuff for sale i do on my website ruxon34.com so you can go check that out if you want to see the old stuff for sale let's see if we can get a foil fu rin kazan pink cheese cool arrows love the content thanks for the 9.99 don't worry okay we got a pitch back war wolf the Moki Moki King himself. Fruits of Kazaki Studies. Very cool. Tactical Espionage Expert. Harpy Lady 2. Creeping Doom Manta. Back to Square 1. Square, not Square. And... Oh, we got a Silent Swordsman level... Oh, I guess it is Silent Swordsman level 3. There's an Ultra Rare. Yes. Is this the... Do you only get one in these? This might be the only Ultra Rare of the box. That's insane. This would be a cool Ultimate Rare for sure. This would be really cool. Box design only which look better, old or new. I like older boxes usually, mostly for me, EX Gamer. All right, very good Ultra Rare pull. Paolo starting it off hot. That's our first foil pull of the box. I'm loving it. Silent Swordsman is a very cool looking card. Just check that card out, guys. That card looks really nice. Okay. Very good. Two packs left still. Boom. That's a great start. Could have been you. You were so close, man. You were so close. Second pack, Paolo. Let's go. Hobby box means that you can pull ultras or super rares as uh, ultimate rares. 
So they, they, you can get the form of like creator ultimate rare. You can't do that in a retail box. Next pack. Harpy Lady 3. The Moki Moki Smack. Element Saurus. We've got the creator incarnate. Rock from the Valley of Haze. Element Magician. Back to square one. Zing's a new. I really love this card. It was just so good in Duel Links. And then... Dra or Dark Blade. Not Dark Blade. Dark Blade. This card's actually pretty nice. That's a cool ulti. It's only in the retail box, though. There's actually some cool retail ultis in Rise of Destiny, which is unusual. Usually the retails are really bad. Okay. Pack number three for Paolo. Let's go. Ultis are pretty awesome, man. They're one of the best rarities out there for sure. Most people think they're the best. I personally like Ghost a little bit more, but it's it's still pretty close. I like the ultis a lot too. What's up, Dark Law? Thanks for making it to the stream, man. Here we go. Last pack for Paolo. Ballista of Rampart smashing. Foxfire. Invasion of... This card art is very cool. It's a cool card art. I like it. Malice Dispersion. Element Magician. Back to square one. I forgot to check the back on that ultra rare. Zing Zin Hu. Harpy's Hunting Ground. This one does not have something weird on it. And a flint. It's just a straight up flint. All right, there's a flint. Let's check the back on that ultra rare, by the way. Because usually they are like super scuffed. Oh, wow. This card's clean. You guys see that? Look at that shine. Wow, there's not much going on. That's pretty nice. How's the centering? Centering's pretty good. I don't know if this is uh, a worthy card to grade for 100 bucks, but once that bolt comes out, that's going to be a cool one to grade, I think. Okay, Ghost number one, but older Ultimate Rares are up there. Yeah, it's definitely close. Like, I wouldn't say it's a blowout, but I just really love the Ghost Rares. They're so unique. Okay, let's uh, get this put together. I've got two sealed boxes of 10 to 12 in LOFT from when I was a kid. LOFT? What do you mean? What is LOFT? But 10 to 12 boxes sounds promising. <laughs> Bikanyo Moth Foil for a Dark Magician, kind of like a Starlight. Pull something. We're begging you to pull something really good. All right, we're trying to pull something fire, Jeffrey. We got you. Okay. So far, we started good. Hey, man, love your channel. Just driving the stream. What's the best pulls in this box? Best pulls in this box are, I would say, Creator Ulti or Perfectly Ultimate Machine King Ulti. Those are both... Ultra rares normally they can become an ultimate form in this hobby box. So hopefully we can grab those. Box of batch and got illusion uh, secret rare. That's pretty good. Speaking of that, I do have a few packs we might open of that after this. I have a few packs because this case is yet to pull a dark magician or a starlight. So we might get that later today if the box break, you know, if we have time after the box break because I do have to go to Batman at some point. Okay, Alex C. Two packs. I don't know what the worst are. There's probably some bad ones. Usually there's a couple that are, you really don't want. But in Hobby, most of them are pretty cool, I would say. Dekoichi and Machine Duke. Yeah, but those are only in retail boxes. Those are not in this. That's why the retail box of this is actually pretty good. But you can't get them in a Hobby box. You can only get the Supers and Ultras as ultis. Okay, Malice Dispersion. Foxfire. Eagle Eye. We got that Eye of an Eagle. Element Source. This is for Alex. Come on, Alex. Let's see what you can get. Harpy Girl. So far, just one foil. Mine Haxorks. Harpy Sounding Ground and then like almost every pack. Element Magician. And Chain Burst. I didn't realize how many chain cards came in around this. It's like weird chain burst cards. A thousand damage to each player who activates a trap card. That is kind of a lot, actually. Is that used in Chain Burn? Seems like it might be. Okay, that's the first one. NA and European print cards in modern day as they don't have the E anymore. It's usually the European and modern, I think, are a little bit darker. That's about that's about right. Um, that's not a lot of difference, though, anymore. There used to be a lot more of a difference. What's up, Gotcha Main? Sam, what is a box break? So basically, uh, the members of the channel bought some packs, and I'm opening the box for them, basically. Okay, Pitch Black Warwolf. Second pack for Alex. Let's see if we can get him something. Ballista. Foxfire. Invasion of Flames, Mind Hacksworks, Harpy Girl, back to square one, lighten the load, share the load, Lord of the Rings, and Sasuke Samurai number four, another rare, so so far we've opened like seven packs and only one foil, so there's a lot left in this box potentially. 
International? I do ship to the UK sometimes. Yeah. Okay. It sometimes bites me in the butt, though, when people like are like, sorry, I need a refund, and the, the thing is like... <laughs> It's just in transit, so I'm just screwed. So, yeah, sometimes the uh, international shipping has been pretty rough for me recently, but I'm still doing it as of right now. I haven't canceled it or anything. Um, all right, next one. That was Alex C. Now we have Alex K. That was not Alex Simo. No, it's a different one. Okay. Hobby box basically means Kev G. Thanks for the sub. Basically means that it could pull supers or ultras from the set in ultimate form. That's what the hobby box means. Three for Alex K. All right, here we go. Love the channel. You're my go-to Yu-Gi-Oh! Ch opening channel. Thank you, James. I appreciate that. Getting into History Archive Collection. Latest OCG. I, I It's not that I'm not a fan. I just don't know anything about the OCG. It's really hard to keep up with uh, compared to the TCG. All right. Can we get ourselves a foil? It's been a while. We've got Foxfire. This is for Alex K this time. Not to be confused with Alex C. We got a Ballista, Pitch Black Werewolf, Fruits of Kazaki Studies, Element Magician, Tactical Espionage Expert. We've got a Harpy Lady number two. And no Creeping Dude Manta. It's the next one. And Dakoichi, the Battle Enchanted Locomotive. That's a good rare. It's not a foil, though, but it's still definitely a good rare. We will take that. Alex K, first pack. Sevier, thanks for becoming a special footage member. Now you get emo emotes, badges, access to Discord. You get discounts on box breaks, early access to box breaks. Hopefully, we can do some more of these in the future and, you know, keep them consistent or, like, fairly consistent because it has been a while, but I think I have another one I'm planning on doing. Does LB come in glossy waving for all the... No, it's it's just in A. Yeah, there's not not for other ones. Like Spanish and all that stuff, you won't get uh you won't get hot or wavy or glossy. Next pack for Alex. Starting off with a good rare, but we really want to pull something good. This is pack number like nine or something with one foil. Let's see if we can get an ulti. We did mix them up, so that tends to make things go crazy a little bit. Next pack. We have a wood borg in Bocci. Bokoichi, not the Dukoichi, the Bokoichi. He's got both. Heavy mech support platform, Astral Barrier. You love to see that card. It's very cool. Lighten the load. Nightmare Penguin. Look, it's Batman. References. We got the Homunculus, the Alchemic Being. Spell Purification. And an Ultimate Insect Level 3. I thought it was another Dukoichi. They have the same attack. I didn't realize that guy was 1400. Okay, another rare. We're looking for those uh, super. So basically left, we should have supers and ultimates. That's what we're looking for at this point. And the, it looks like the second half of the box is going to be stacked. History. Okay, it's a good rare. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, yeah. It, it's good for a rare, but you still, you know, obviously want a foil. Okay, Alex. Last chance at a foil. Let's see if he can get you something good. Let's go. Final pack for Alex K. Not to be confused with Alex C. Let's get him something good. We have Ballista of Rampart Smashing. Pitch Dark War Wolf. Fruits of Kazaki Studies. He's been studying all night. Harpy Lady 1. Lighten the load. Harpy Lady 2. Let's get something good. Creeping Doom Manta. Tactical Espionage Expert. And a Machine Doom. It's another good rare, but still not a foil. Two out of three good rares, but where are the foils? If we had not pulled that Ultra, I would be nervous right now. Fortunately, we did pull the Ultra. Alex K, thank you for being in it. No foils, so you will get a foil bonus in your package. Thank you very much for being in it. I appreciate you guys, especially all, yeah, all you members who are in this, because it's all members this time. Really appreciate you guys. Let me sleeve these up. We're going to get into... We still have two more packs on this side? Something like that? Two more packs on this side. 14 total more packs. We should get six more foils somewhere in that range. So we've got like six out of the next 14. We're going to get some. Okay. Next up, Andrew R. with also three packs. All right. Let's go. Three packs. Let's do this. Andrew R. Send you luck. Everyone send the luck in the chat. I need water. Stop my throat. All right. There we go. We're all right. Next pack. Let's see what we can do. What's up, Fiche? How's it going, man? A sniff? No, I'll leave that to uh, I'll leave that to Sam. He can handle that for me. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. Is this finally the moment we return to foils? We have a Furin Kazan, Eagle Eye, 
Malice Dispersion, Invasion of Flames, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Harpy Girl, Mind Haxorks, Harpy Sunning Ground. It looks like we've seen all the commons at this point. Oh, another Covering Fire, another rare. This is a very slow start, very slow start. We've pulled one ultra rare, that is it. Why does this always happen to us? One day we're going to open, it's going to be at the front of the box. That's all I'm saying. I think it happened like with Yada or something. When we opened LOD, I think we pulled Yada at the beginning. That's literally like the only time. Every other time, it's like in the second half of the box. Okay, maybe I should just like not shuffle them. I don't know. <laughs> someone, someone was always shuffle them to the back. Andrew R, let's go. Astral Barrier. Let's see if you can pull something. Break the streak. Fruits of Kazaki Studies. Harpy Lady 2. Tactical Espionage Expert. Element Magician. Harvey's Hunting Ground and a tree, a tree, a team trap disposal unit. Wow, that side had one foil. That's pretty wild. Blizzard, thanks for becoming a special footage member. I appreciate that. Whew. DMG, did we pull DMG? We did pull it, and then we pulled uh, Dark Paladin as well. Same guy. That was insane. Yeah, you have to eat a blazing wing from Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, at this point, we don't have to eat very much. Let's see if we can step it up. Blizzard, thanks for becoming a follower. Or remember, final pack. Come on, Andrew. You got to break this streak, man. This is the first from the left side. Okay. That's crazy. You can't speed up the, the video when it's live. Isn't that weird? All right. Next thing. Moki Moki Smackdown. Element Saurus. The Creator Incarnate. Woodborg and Pachi. Spell Purification. A little ding up there. Interesting. Mighty God. I love that card. We haven't seen that guy yet, I don't think. Nightmare Penguin. There he is. Back to square one. And Covering Fire. What in the world? We're going to get like five or six out of 11 at this point. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. There's only two people left because they both bought a lot of packs. This is going to be interesting for sure. This is going to be really interesting. Andrew, thank you for being in the break. You're going to be getting a foil sent to you in addition to your cards that you pulled here we go let's pull this out so next up is julio a who bought seven packs did he happen to snipe all the foils this is going to be kind of interesting if he did that all right seven packs let's go one two three four five six seven well he's almost i think he's guaranteed to get something because there's only four left after that there should be five to six more foils so he's almost guaranteed to get that one, which is pretty crazy. Here we go. Let's go. Let's see what we can get. Put the luck in the pequeño moths and the what is this in the back. Here we go. Four. Eagle Eye. Element Saurus. Furiza. Furikazin. <laughs> War of Wolf or Wolf. I'm struggling now. Homunculus. Spell Purification. Muddy go. Mirage Dragon. And. Oh, an ultimate rare. Big core. Oh, okay. This is probably the one you don't really want yet. And there's the back. It's definitely got some scuffing on it. It's not too bad for Rise of Destiny, but it does have some scuffing. Man, that card does look really cool, though. Big core. What a weird name for this card. Is it because of the core in the ship? Is that what they're talking about? That's such a weird. I don't know. That's such a weird thing. Okay. Big Core, Julio A. First pack already got something. There it is. Wow, that is... A, that's a weird one to pull. Okay, let's hope we can pull an Ultra Rare this time. Or not an Ultra. An Ultra has ulti in the next one. Next pack. Can we pull something good? Big Chocolate. Ultimate is needed. The ulti stamp. Yeah, the ulti stamp and the scuffing on this set, it's very tough to get them in like PSA 10. So if you do, it's really rare. We've got an Eagle Eye. Furikin Zan. Why can't I read that right? Fur <laughs> Furikazan. There we go. Moki Moki King. Harpy Lady 3. Mirage Dragon. Rock from the Valley of Haze. Lighten the load. Homunculus. And a Pikaru Circle of Enchantment. He is now two for two. Two for two. There are all the foils. The second half of the box, the Picaroos Circle of Enchantment. This is kind of a weird one. It seems like it's in every Rise of Destiny opening, though. It's one of those cards. Okay. 
Big Core is from a game called Gradius. It's one of the bosses. So is it like related to the ships or whatever? Or you know what I'm saying? Okay, five more packs for Julio. He's starting off pretty good. He unfortunately stole it from everyone. <laughs> good for him. Not great for everyone else. All right. Here, three, four. Let's see what we can do. Is he going to go three for three here? Eagle Eye. Malice Dispersion. Invasion of Flames. Foxfire. Harpy Girl. Homunculus, the alchemic being. Mind Haxorks. Raging Flame Sprite. And Tragedy. It's a tragedy. He's now pulled three in a row. We had pulled one through how many packs? Like 12 or 14 packs. Now we've pulled three in a row. The randomization is being wild today. Absolutely wild. All right. Three for Julio. No Julio side. Julio, are you in the chat? Are you here? All right. Pikachu is the real, real waifu. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Still four packs to go for Julio. Then we have one more person. Fourth pack. Let's go. What can we pull? Fury Shazam. <laughs> You're right. That's basically what I'm doing. All right. Fourth pack. Will he finally miss? Malice Dispersion. Eagle Eye. Fury Kazan. I got it right that time. Moki Moki King. Harpy Lady 2. Creeping Doom Manta. Tactile Espionage. Nightmare Penguin. And... My gosh, the creator ultimate rare, the cover card. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay. Julio legitimately. Okay. You guys said nothing could be the dark magician girl, dark paladin. This is about as close as it gets. He got the cover card. He's four for four right now. Ultimate rare. Holy, this is an awesome card. Whoa, that looks good. That is a beautiful, that is a beautiful card. Whoa, okay. All right, Julio, you have, you're literally one of the luckiest people I've ever met. I haven't even met you technically, but dude, how is this even possible? How is this even possible? We shuffled the names, we shuffled the packs. Somehow we shuffled four in a row to Julio, both ultimate rares. That is insane. Is there a third ultimate rare in this box? I guess we're going to try. I guess we're going to figure it out. Three more packs. Can he possibly pull something else? That is insane. Yu-Gi-Mo showed up. What's up, Yu-Gi-Mo? What is up, dude? All right. Good to see Yu-Gi-Mo in the chat, the legend. If he gets another foil, oh my gosh. Astral Barrier. Heavy Mech. Julio, are you in the chat? Are you in the chat? Bokoichi. Invasion of Flames. Spell Purification. Mighty God. Mirage Dragoon. Rock from the back. Guys, I hate to break this to you, but I can tell. It's another foil. It's a monster reincarnation. Five for five. Five for five. What in the world? This would have been a cool ulti as well. This would have been a really cool one. Oh my goodness. Five packs, five foils. This is why I used to do like three pack limit, you know, just in case. But then like the last few box breaks we did, it took a while to sell out. So I was like, okay, this might take a while to sell out. It sold out like the first day. Julio bought seven, and he's really glad he did. So maybe in the future, we might go back to three only. But, I mean, Julio at this point, congrats, dude. Huge congrats. Two more packs. Yeah. Yeah, everyone else is like, oh, my gosh. It feels so bad. But at this point, it's like, it's kind of like, this is kind of how I felt. If I, I'm, I'm feeling for you guys because I bought the Grand Creators cases with nothing in it. And I got nothing. And then other people, like, got super lucky. Like, Robbie Cole got, like, a million of them. So it's like... Well, I feel good for them, but also for me, it feels really bad. I know what you guys mean. But, Coach, you got Invasion of Flames, Malice Dispersion, Foxfire, Zing Zen Hu, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Lighten the Load. Is he finally going to miss? That's the question. Nightmare Penguin. I feel like he may have finally missed. Fuchsler Dragon, the Dual Mode Beast. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That is crazy, guys. That is crazy. He finally missed. He's five for six now. It's pretty pretty rough, man. Julio, it's my burner. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not my burner. All right. Rise of Destiny. Imagine. It's like, yeah, I'm just pulling all these from my shelf. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for being in the box break. I just opened them all on my shelf. Not really. I would never do that, of course. But, man, Julio. All right. I just wish Julio was here, man. Okay, so we've pulled five and one. There should be one more. There should be one more foil. Astral Barrier, if he gets it. Ballista. Oh, we rucks and special the Moki Moki. Incarnate. Nightmare Penguin. Rock from the Valley of Haze. 
Element Magician. Back to square one. And an another Fuchsler Dragon. Okay, that's his rare of choice, apparently. Okay, let's see. He is here. Where is he? Julio, where are you? That was not a bad seven packs, I, I could say. You did okay. You did all right. You didn't You didn't pull anything too bad. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. You're in on the next break? All right, let's go, Yugi Mo. Get in here, dude. Gotta get some luck, man. Odin is Julio. Oh, that's Odin is Julio. I'm overwhelmed. The luck has been real. Let's go, Odin. All right, congrats, man. Huge congrats. You pulled literally one of the best cards, probably the best card in the set. Wow, that is insane, man. That is absolutely insane. That might have been the best luck I've ever seen. It's hard to rival the Dark Magician Girl for sure, but that one was close. Like, that was really close. Okay, wait, we got to put... I forgot to put your name in there. Let's not get that confused. I think we'll remember Julio. It's going to be hard to forget that one. All right. Last four packs go to Connor G. Connor G can still pull a foil, it looks like. Hopefully, it's something good. Okay. Connor G, last four. Can we get you something good? Hopefully, we can. Because Julio might get a little selfish over there, Julio, pulling all the foils. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That was pretty crazy. Oh, whoops. Let's go. GG, what a legend, dude. What a legend. All right, let's see what we can pull for Connor. Moki Moki, Harpy Lady 3, Raging Flame Sprite, Spell Puri, Mighty Guard, Mirage Dragon, and the Flint. All right, Flint Michigan. Okay, that is just a regular rare. Let's see what we can do. Connor, let's get you something. We've only pulled six. There should be seven. There should be seven, so... Let, yeah, it didn't replace, unless an ulti or the ultra ulti replaced a, a super, which it shouldn't. So we should get at least a super, or in weird case, maybe like an ulti or something like that, but probably not. Harpy Lady 3, we got a Lady 1. Bokoichi, heavy mech support. Oh, Ruxus back. Oh no, the Mirage Dragon, he's damaged. Raging Flame Sprite. Zing Zin Hu, a rock from the Valley of Fate. Haze, not Phase, that's different. Gaia Soul, the combustible... A collective. All right. All right. Okay. Saving it for the end. Saving it for the last two packs. Let's go, Connor. Let's end this off with a bang. Let's end this bad boy off with a bang. We're starting off with the Mighty Guard. Very cool. Mighty Guard. Can we pull something good? We got a Moki Moki. The Creator. Woodborg and Pachi. Boy Koichi. Mighty Guard. Nightmare Penguin. Back to square one. Creeping Doom Manta. And the rare Metamorph. This actually was a very good Duel Links card for a while. Because uh, you target with a spell card, you can negate it. Also get to gain attack, stuff like that. Okay. Final pack. Whew, here we go. Let's go. Let's pull something good. The final chance at a foil. We've only pulled six foils. So there is a good chance that there is a seventh. There's not always a seventh, though. Moki Moki Smackdown. Harpy Lady 3. Moki Moki King. Few Rikazin. Rikazan. My Naxorks. Harpy Girl. Back square one. Will it have seven? No, it's just a six foil box and Julio pulled five of them. Unreal. Connor, thank you for being in it. You will get a foil because you did not pull one. Thank you guys for being in the break. Wow, that was wild, guys. Oh my gosh. Connor, or sorry. Julio, you have the best luck of all time. That was crazy. Okay, well, that was that was interesting to say the least. Should we open up? You guys want to open up a few other things? We can open up some uh, Battles of Chaos if you want. Thank you guys for being here especially, but that was, that was nuts. Okay. I have some Battles of Chaos we can open up for a little bit if you guys want. I also have some Grand Creators because I still need to pull the, uh, whatever it's called, the engine, the Brave engine or whatever. We also have this, so we can open up a few packs while we're here. So, let's do this real quick. Right after, you know, let's open a few packs. We might as well get a few bonus openings in. See if we can pull that Dark Magician in here. Because I've not pulled it out of this case. Ogdoidic, very nice. Once again, thanks to all the members for being in the break. I know a lot of you guys got the short end of the stick. But, uh, a big congrats to the legend for pulling Julio. For pulling all of that amazing stuff. Let's go. Batch. 
So all of them weren't keeps entertained. Yeah, thank yeah, I appreciate it, dude. Well, we're just trying to have a little fun here, you know, a little little bonus, little bonus opening. Let me uh do grand creators. I need to open some of these. Because I need to pull the water enchantress in the right. Alright, I still have not pulled a collector rare since that first opening. Okay. Single packs on TCG player. It's gonna be hard to verify those, so I don't know. I have I've only done that like once, and I didn't get a foil, so out of the one pack. So I don't know. But, uh, have you ever thought of going full Yugi hair? Yeah, yeah, all the time. That's what I go for. Starlight in the fifth pack from the left. All right, let's see what we can do. This is uh, being weird. All right. Pull these out of the way. Mishprint. Let's do this. Let's see if we can pull something big before we end the stream. What's up, Andre? How you doing, man? How you doing? Let's see if we can pull something crazy. A magic core warrior. That is not crazy. That's not crazy at all. Next one. I'm burning up. Vampire ghost. I'm like sweating now for some reason. Probably because of these lights. These lights will get a little hot eventually, but. Alright, Grand Creators, I got right and Ultra. Nice, dude. That's a really good box. That's a really good box. Sir Ruxin back. He needs a reappearance, you're saying? Yeah. If I get a Starlight, I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah, that would be pretty big. Oh, the Fateful Adventure is what I always pull out of these boxes. Okay, we got an Ultra Rare. Not the one we're looking for. Savage Strike. I don't think I have any of those, but if they pop up, I will. Shout if Ultra Rare are above. I will do my best, man. Ghost from the Past 2 going to be a good set. Uh, we only know some of the Ghost Rares. We don't know anything else, but we know those will be hype. We don't know any, any other cards. Dino Morphia. Cool. Local fan. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. Why don't they just release North American all at the same time? Okay, yeah, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm in the middle of something. I'm in the middle of uh, your conversation that I don't know what's going on. Going to see Batman? Yeah, I'm going to later tonight as well, so that should be fun. Hopefully you enjoyed. Dictator of D, that's over a dollar. We'll pull that out. Didn't do that originally. I made a mistake. Thanks, Andre. No problem. Uh, yeah, I would love to pull even the Ultra Rare, not even the CR. I just want the Ultra Rare version. Okay. How much are these booster boxes? I'm not really sure. Maybe like around 60 or something. Not total. Probably maybe more for Grand Creators because of the ones. I have not played Elden Ring. I've seen everyone else playing it, but I have not actually played it myself. Exo Sisters. Why? Why do you do this to me? I can't pull them. What'd you miss, Ice Swooper? You missed us pulling the Creator. Ultra Rare. Julio pulled literally everything. It was pretty crazy. All right, let's go. Uh, DD Griffin. Very nice. Everyone going to see Batman? Why are you going, dude? Why are you going to Batman? It's going to be lit. Uh, not much there. Yugi Mo. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. You are old school. That's an older one. How much do you think uh, Shining Victory's first dead packs are? Ah, a few bucks. Probably not too much. Maybe four or five dollars. Thanks for the five, Bashiro. Battles of Chaos is $80 still? Really? That's kind of crazy. There's not a lot of crazy value magic rebo. Love to see that card. Smoke. Ball one already? Nice. What time is it in America right now? Uh, 5 o'clock central for me. It's not out in Canada yet. Really? They have later, later releases? I didn't realize that. I figured they'd all be the same. Exo Sister Tier 0. Thanks for the two, Fable Master. Uh, I've heard I've heard different. I haven't heard that that's so good. That music is an affront to Yu-Gi-Oh. What music? Wait, is there music on? Yeah, isn't it just like... Uh, I didn't put my playlist on. Master of Chaos, nice. I think it's just a regular old... Uh, just regular old Yu-Gi-Oh music, I think. I'm a nerd. Don't discriminate. Nice. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, we're just going straight up no pack trick this time. Premium pack one and true two. They're actually not misprints. Uh, I think they're just regular. I think they thought they were misprints. Zombie vampire, nice secret rare, but they're actually listed. I think as not misprints. I paid forty five for a box. Yeah, that seems more more correct. Marco, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Insector dragonfly. Let's grab some water real quick. Getting hot in here. 
<clears throat> That's what you're saying about North American release. I don't. I don't even remember what I read or not. <laughs> Hidden Arsenal Chapter One. I don't have any right now. I don't have any. Okay. His parents died. That no way. That's crazy. I had no idea. Uh, when it does the Hidden Arsenal officially release? It's like next week, right? 11 p.m. How hopefully it's going well over there, man. Dynamorphia. Next pack. Uh, Exo Sister again. Don't we still need an Ultra out of that? I think so. Because now I'm back. You're back. All right, nice. How many Secret Rares come in a box of Battles of Chaos? Two. Two per box. Okay, we have Right of Aramisir. Yes, we finally pulled something that we actually need. Okay, one down, two to go, plus we need three Water Enchantress. So we're getting there. Yep. I get, I get it, yu gi -Oh. I get it. That's what I'm saying. I just said I was surprised that it wasn't being released. Okay. All right. I need five more cards total to have the, to have the engine. Okay. Oh, the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Let's go. That's a nice secret rare. We'll take that. Very good. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Pretty good opening so far on this uh, backup opening we're doing just for fun. And Zector Pico Felina. Two best sets of 2021. A uh, burst of destiny for sure. And then it's pretty tough to say after that one. It's a lot closer. I don't know. Definitely burst of destiny at number one, I would say. Very good set. Uh, Vision with eyes of blue. Have I pulled jet? I just pulled it. But I've pulled every card. I mean, we opened two super long live streams and pulled every card. Okay. But I'm hoping to pull another Dark Magician in good uh, condition because the ones I pulled were not in good condition. Just about to ask about the jet. Okay. Um, let's get this stream to 400 likes, guys. Hit that like button. We're at 358. I think we can get there. We've got another Peak of Felina. My main deck. Right now, it's uh, Invoked Dogmatica DPE is my main deck that I use. Do you play Master Duel? Yeah, yeah. I just posted a Master Duel video the other day. Nobody watched it, but I did post one <laughs> two days ago. So if you want to go check that out, go check it out. I've also done a few live streams for that. I live stream on Twitch uh, playing Master Duel. If you want to follow me, uh, Ruxin34 there. Popcorn is the OG theater food for sure, for sure. Completely new to Yu-Gi-Oh! What set should I start with? Uh, just something that has some interest to you. Like if you see a card that you like and you want to pull it or like a bunch of cards or an archetype or something, then go for that set. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Wandering. All right, that's the end of that one. We have a few more. I kind of want to try and pull another right card. Let's see if we can do that. Wait, I've got a couple more boxes. Bubba bang Should we open these? What do you guys think? Should we open these before we uh, get going? Because I kind of want to pull some good stuff. I think we should. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I want the, I don't I don't know if this case has CRs. That's the problem. I have yet to pull a CR, so I don't think we're gonna get CRs again. I think we're a CR-less case. I just want to pull them as ultras at this point. First edition LOB. Yeah, good point. Good point. That'll be easy. Knickknacks. The Megatons. Simo. <laughs> might as well. We might as well open a little bit more. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it, and do it, and do it, do it. Okay. Batman is not Bruce Wayne. That is not a good spoiler. That's a fake spoiler. I don't believe you. Don't think. Just do it. Good point. Nike. Starlight box guaranteed. How much does a box cost? Uh, I still don't really know. That's been asked that a few times, but I don't really know. Uh, they've heard a lot of different prices. Not the best sets ever. They do have the Brave Engine in this one, though, which is pretty popular at this point. So definitely going to have at least some value. It's not going to fall down to Synchro Storm levels. Where it was like $35 or something. Dragonfly. That was a pretty rough set. Especially since Lyra Lusk Tri Brigade got hit. So it's like kind of killed the value even more. Uh, Tamias. Very good Ultra Rare. We'll take that. What do you think about Dino Morphia deck? Uh, I've never played that one. We've got Torrential Solemn. Yeah, those are good ones. And Collector Rares. Those are very good ones. All right. 
see all those boxes yeah well they're all from sassy so he probably just got like a badge like a bad batch or whatever so it's like it's kind of from the same spot so that's why i kind of expect to not get anything why shovel the packs uh because they're usually mappable just to make sure there's nothing mappable going on okay i morphia ice jade batman is great but i might be biased did you already watch it though your name is the batman so i feel like uh you might be biased yeah that's for sure you paid 60. Okay, that sounds about right. Let's go to... Ah, oh, this is a bad secret rare. <laughs> That's like $1. Okay, not a great one. Cyber Dark. What about Cyber Dark? Cyber Dark Dragon? Dragon Maid deck? I've only played it on auction series. And it was like, you know, the nerfed version. What's up, Corey? The king of lowballing. How's it going, man? <laughs> the king. I don't, I, I don't think you've ever actually claimed something at full price. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I can count on you to uh, to take at least like 10, 20 bucks off. Batman is Bruce Wayne. Yeah, Superman is Clark Kent. Nah, it's not true. It's bullcrap. It's all fake. Uh, Which newest set is the best in terms of price of cards? Uh, didn't you already kind of ask this question? Oh, it's a CR! It's a bad one, but it's a CR! We got CRs in this case! Ah! <laughs> It finally happened! Oh my goodness! Wow, that is crazy! Woo! We did it! We did it! Woohoo! We got a CR. It's probably not one that we're looking for. But that means the rest of the boxes have CRs, guys. There are CRs in these boxes. Hit the like button for that. For CRs in the boxes, baby. I am hyped up now! Let's go. That means we actually got a normal case. It's insane. It's incredible. It's unbelievable. This feels so good. I have the potential to actually get good cards. Wow. Good. Good. Corey, I'll take 20 to 10 to 20 off the value. Thank you very much, Corey. Thank, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I was just going to say, hopefully, this one ain't like the last. Uh, I'm just going to say, this one ain't like the last. Yeah, dude, the last two were really terrible, man. Really terrible. I'm home. About to take a quiz. What's up, Chels? Good to see you home. Glad you made it. Nice and safe. We have... Oh, nothing. Ben Affleck? Is that your favorite Batman or something? Okay. Chaos Net... I don't even remember that card. That card must be, like, really bad. I don't remember that one at all. That must be one of the ones under a dollar. Single Storm, super cheap. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty bad. There's not much going on. Another Exo. I literally only pull Exo Sister stuff. It's crazy. Stop giving me those cards. All right, next one. All right, very cool. Twenty eight dollars for the collector rare. <laughs> pretty bad. Pretty bad. Oh, d d d another Sophia. Stop giving me those. Oh my gosh. No, no, Chelsea going to the movie. She is. She's going to do some, some quizzes so we can go. Oh, my goodness. Batman lost a wheel and the Joker got away. All right, we got another Stella. Man, I literally only pulled those. Christian Bale, the best Batman, huh? You think so? Looking for Starlight, Blue Eyes, Jet Dragon, and Dark Magician? Oh, you're looking for him? Wait. Are you looking for this guy? Or this one? Is that what you're looking for? These guys? <laughs> we pulled them. Yeah. Very nice. Whew, let's go. Let's pull the Dark Magician. Vampire Fascination and Ogduidic. Grand Creators or Battles of Chaos? Both. We have both right now. So far, it's a bunch of Exo Sister stuff. We did pull one card that we need, though. I think it's better to buy a box from local store or order online. Um, depends. Uh, online's probably going to be a little cheaper, but supporting your locals is always good. Thanks, thanks, RB. I appreciate it, man. All right, we have... Okay. As for CR gets one, says I don't want it anymore. You're right. You're right. You are still four bucks? I am bad. That ain't bad. Yeah, we'll take that. We will take nothing on that one. We actually got a, a collector rare, though. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. We'll take it. Dinomorphia Domain. That's not a bad secret rare. That's definitely okay. Uh, it's not the amazing. I think it's like maybe like six or something. Six or yeah, it's not great for sure, but it's not terrible. 
Better than $1, that's for sure. Why do you use card sleeves that are wider than the card? Because if it's tighter on the card, you're more likely to damage the card. And if you're only going to... Uh, if you're not playing it in a deck, there's no reason to put it in a tight sleeve. Trading CR right of Um, Nice. I'll take it. Send it over. Keep up the daily upload streams. Thanks for the $8.99. You're making up for the lowballing. It's all right. You can lowball it. You just might not get the card. Like, it's okay with me if you do it. I'm just saying that. Just probably less likely to get it. But thank you for the $8.99, Corey. You already opened up the Rise of Destiny box. Yes, we did. And it was pretty crazy. I will. It will be up as soon as this ends, which is going to end pretty soon. Uh, CRs? No, they're, they're like... There's only seven cards in this pack. Six, technically, unless you count this. There's one, two, three white card and then three cards so we're missing two cards and then one of them is a white this is like a test print or something <laughs> what is going on on this stream what in the world that's pretty cool actually that's just weird all right um this is a weird stream guys this is a really weird stream <laughs> this is a really weird stream man this is a really weird stream i don't know what's going on we're pulling i hope that wasn't supposed to be our uh other ultra or something like that but uh at this point i wouldn't be surprised with how the whatever you know the, the quality control is going with that set Whew, that is weird man what a crazy opening oh my gosh libromancer very weird looks like it's from the anime yeah what in the world man that is so weird okay <laughs> we're definitely keeping it that's for sure yeah, a lot of whitening on this card. We might want to sell it, you know. It's uh, probably not gradable at this point. I could literally just print my own card on there. I could make a Ruxin card out of that. Out of the card stock. Soul and Luna! That's our other Ultra. Not great. Okay. Imagine if I just, like, printed with this card. I could just, like, print something onto it. It's like the card stock, so it would feel like a regular Yu-Gi-Oh card. That would be kind of funny, actually. <laughs> In the line. Nordic, we got the Arkansas Razorbacks looking good over there. Five more packs. Here we go. I think that was all the boxes I pulled out. So this is going to be the end of the stream. So let's see if we can pull something cool. Libro Mensa. Very nice. Misprint, baby. It's a pretty cool opening for sure. There's a lot of craziness happening in this opening. And Ice Jade. Very nice. Three more packs. I have video evidence. It happened on video. Caught up on the ROD box. Yeah, that was a crazy one, man. That was crazy for sure. Okay. So I think Soul and Luna, that was our... No, that was Battles of Chaos. Do we still have an Ultra in there? I don't know. I don't know. Dinomorphia. And finally, the Grand Creators, our final chance. We pulled one card that we needed today. We did pull a CR. Finally, though, which was pretty impressive. We have a Punk. Oh, we rocked some special. Right to the Super Bowl. There's no drama there. All right. That was a fun opening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Eric, thanks for the sub. Appreciate all you guys being here for the box break. All everyone who joined it. Appreciate that. Also fun to open some extra packs. I'll see you guys next time. Let's see if I can reach this. Beep boop, beep, beep, beep boop. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!